Hi Leo, this is your March 18th through the 24th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be new love coming towards you this week. The second spread is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three is love from the past. In the fourth spread, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances this week. And the spread number five is what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week, Leo. We have uh, the Four of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Magician, clarified by the Two of Cups. Then we have the Emperor, clarified by the Chariot. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And we also have, uh, we also have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Cancer, maybe a Sagittarius, or any Zodiac sign. This is a general rating. It's a very interesting rating, right? We start with the Four of Cups. The first card I came out was the Four of Cups, which is a card of a rejection. It's clarified by the Seven of Cups. And we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So let me decipher this. For some of you, it could be someone you rejected in the past. And this person is going to try again. I don't know how long it has been since you rejected them. But again, for some of you, perhaps in the past this person didn't resonate with you <laughs> and when this person comes back this time and try again you may even not recognize this person they got a haircut they got a job <laughs> or they got a better job they got a they doubled up right for others of you you could be dealing with more than one person more than one person and you're rejecting one of them and instead uh, accepting an invitation accepting another person basically right so that's what could be happening here, right? Because uh, the Seven of Cups, I find the Four of Cups all the way to left. The Seven of Cups could be a card of multiple choice. Again, you could be dealing with multiple people for some of you. Others of you, the Seven of Cups is a card of, I'm not so sure. You know, it's a card of not being clear. So perhaps in the past when this person tried with you, they didn't present themselves in a trustworthy way. <laughs> You were not clear about uh, this person's intention, or you were not clear if this person is up to your standard, you know, or they were wishy-washy or something like that. When this person comes back this time, you know, you'll know what they want and you'll know that this person leveled up. Whatever the case, right, uh, we have the Magician clarified by the Two of Cups. The Magician could be either Gemini or Virgo you're dealing with, but the Magician could be a card of manifestation. And most importantly, it's a card of taking action. So somebody is definitely taking action towards you. Okay, and the thing about the magician, they've got all the tools they need at their disposal, right? This card often comes through as a card of somebody who tries multiple things, or they're very resourceful, or they will give you gifts, will shower you with gifts, they'll take you places, they will wine you and dine you, impress you, and things like that. You know, very creative individual. The Two of Cups clarifying that, yeah, we got two people in the Two of Cups. I think that's you and the, and the, the new person. Or the person you rejected in the past and now they're coming back and this time, this time around, this will resonate with you. It's a soulmate card, right? It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people see eye to eye. In the middle we have the emperor clarified by the chariot. You know, the magician and the emperor could be the same person. Okay, it could be the same person. The emperor could be an Aries. You're dealing with the chair, it could be a cancer you're dealing with. By the way, we're starting um, Aries birthday season this week, right? I think it starts on the 22nd, which is what, Friday? So perhaps it has something to do with an Aries birthday party. The Page of Cups could be an invitation. This person could be an Aries. <laughs> or you could be, you know, going to an Aries birthday party with this new person. All right, and, but I... If we want to stay general, then the emperor is somebody who is large and in charge, somebody who's leveled up, somebody who knows what he or she wants. You know, the emperor often comes through as a future husband, future spouse, future significant other figure. The chariot clarifying that could be you literally going somewhere with this person, or it's a card of victory, success. And as we all know from history classes, who rides the chariot? Either Pharaoh or the emperor. Okay, so very symbolic that the emperor is clarified by the emperor, the emperor riding the chariot. Okay, in the potential outcome we have uh, the ace of swords, uh, the ten of cups, 
and the, the will of fortune. All right. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes, Leo. Yes. <laughs> the Ace of Swords is the yes word. It's a card of clarity, right? With well, the Seven of Cups all the way to the left, people are not clear. With the Ace of Swords, people are crystal clear. All right. And uh, it's a card of a new beginning. With the Ace of Swords, there is no BS. Nobody is fooling or playing around with that card. The Ten of Cups in the middle is the happily ever after card. It's a card of a commitment, marriage family and uh, the will of fortune you guys are taking it to the next level you know with that will of fortune it's a start of a new cycle card but since it's in the potential outcome it's a start of a cycle in the next level up so this looks awesome leo you're you're getting the emperor who is riding the chariot <laughs> i assume you're the empress all right leo really happy for you congratulations if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, uh, Leo, this card is for you. We have the Hierophant, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus or um, an Aquarius, or absolutely any zodiac sign. Here's the deal, Leo. If your relationship or your marriage, as of right now, is a rock-solid marriage or relationship, if you feel safe, if you feel secure, <laughs> if you feel loved, if that's how things are with your relationship or marriage right now, it will be business as usual. I don't mean to disappoint you, <laughs> but it will continue to be that way. All right. If you've been wishing or hoping for a relationship or marriage like that, then that wish will be granted this week. If you've been wishing or hoping to marry this person, if you're just in a relationship, yeah, it could be that this wish is being granted, or you could be going to someone else's wedding, okay? You could be, if you've been wishing to go <laughs> to someone else's wedding, you're going to that wedding. Um, I'm a little surprised to see cards like this, right? We have three marriage cards on the table. Three, okay? Every card that I actually pulled out, because the, the card on the bottom of the deck is just there, but the three cards that are that came out, or they're all marriage cards, okay? All of them, all three of them, right? The Hierophant, by the way, could be a Taurus, the Star could be an Aquarius, but the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. The Four of Wands in the middle is a marriage card. That card always reminds me of an actual wedding. And uh, the Ten of Pentacles, you've guessed it, it's a marriage card. For some of you, maybe you're buying a home, you're moving, right? Because the Ten of Pentacles could be... A card of real estate, maybe you're throwing a housewarming party, or somebody is. All right, but uh, yeah, this is a fantastic spread. Congratulations. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the devil, clarified by the ace of ones. We have judgment, clarified by the star. We have the, the six of ones, clarified by the knight of ones. And uh, we have the page of pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with um, a Capricorn, um, maybe an Aquarius, or a fellow fire sign, Aries, another Leo, Sagittarius, or absolutely any zodiac sign. Well, Leo, I know you never take anybody back, but the, every rule has an exception, <laughs> right? And I think it's that exception this week. Um... If you can think of somebody whom you were unable to resist in the past, you're not going to be able to resist this person this time either. Nope, nope, nope. All right? It's not a challenge. It's not... <laughs> Leo, it's not a challenge. All right? I see you guys getting back together, at least for the foreseeable future. I think you guys will have uh, one interesting, hot encounter if you know what I mean all right um, yeah the devil the first card I came out could be a Capricorn you're dealing with but the devil in this case with all the other cards especially with that ace of once and the knight of one well all other cards all right um, somebody you will be unable to resist the ace of once is all about passion 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 if you know what I mean okay judgment in the middle is clarified by the star I never clarified judgment if it's the last card that comes out, but I clarified if it's the first or the second. So I clarified that. It's clarified by the star. Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Could be an Aquarius who is coming back with the star card. The star is a card of healing. Okay? And it, <laughs> it's also a card of a wish come true. And uh, at the end, uh, we have the six of ones clarified by the knight of ones. 
These are not rejection cards. These are not rejection cards. <laughs> the Knight of Wands could be a fellow fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, right? But the Knight of Wands is a very passionate knight, just like the Ace of Wands. All right, and the Six of Wands is a card of victory, success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of attention, right? So, yeah, I think the two of you are getting back together, at least for the foreseeable future. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Leo. This week we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. We have Strength and Justice. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with uh, Libra or any zodiac sign. Um, this is one interesting spread, Leo, because uh, you see that page of ones in the middle, it's just a page, but uh, it brings a lot of changes, <laughs> okay? Because besides the page of ones, we have three major arcana cards, right? The Wheel of Fortune, Strength, and Justice, and uh, the page of ones themselves is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So, somebody may offer to buy your home off of you, <laughs> that's just maybe for 1% of you. Um, but uh, the page of one says, excellent news, great, fantastic, awesome news, or an offer, and it's just a page. So perhaps somebody just wants to talk to you, and uh, it will not look like something serious, but when the two of you do start that conversation, it will turn out something to be bigger, something bigger than you thought, all right? Because it is classified by the Ten of Pentacles, so it's a card of um, a pile of cash, right? The Ten of Pentacles is a card of financial abundance, it's a card of a real estate, Right, and um, it's um, the, the first card that came out is the Wheel of Fortune. It's the start of a new cycle, or it's a card of literally going somewhere, okay, or both. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, we have Justice, could be uh, a Libra you're dealing with, but Justice could be the legal system, an HR department, a government agency, or financial institution, or Justice could be when everything goes by the book, you know, there will be signatures, there will be official paperwork and things like that. And strength right next to the deck is you. That's your major arcana card. You're on the receiving end of this. Let me know in the comments down below how this uh, plays out for you, right? So it's just a page, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a, something big, all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Leo. We have the Queen of Swords, clarified by the Page of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands, then we have the Queen of Cups, clarified by the Three of Cups. And we have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You're dealing with two people, or a whole bunch of people. But two people that stand out are the Queen of Swords, who is most likely an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Queen of Cups, who is most likely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And to be honest with you, the first thing I thought of was this Pisces will have a birthday party, okay? And either the Queen of Swords is the one who is inviting you, <laughs> or you may run into this person at, at that party, at that birthday party. You may run into this Queen of Swords, or this Queen of Swords could be organizing a surprise birthday party for this Pisces. Right, something along those lines. But uh, the Queen of Cups is clarified by the Three of Cups. It is a card of a party, right? And uh, this week we are wrapping up uh, Pisces birthday season, so that's why I automatically assumed it's a Pisces birthday party. But the, you got this. You also have this Queen of Swords all the way to your left. They're clarified by the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a message, notification, email, phone call, text, what have you, right? Or it, the Page of Wands is a card of uh, just talking, communicating with somebody. So this Queen of Swords is somehow associated with this Pisces birthday party. The Eight of Wands in the middle is a card of communication or a card of trouble. Okay? So that's what you're not expecting. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so um, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this week, Leo. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Leo, have an amazing week.